I'm here at the UFO crash site, which hasn't been open to the public for 71 years. In 1947, a man by the name of Mac Brazel says that this is where he saw a UFO crash, and along this two-mile stretch is where they say they found a ton of unearthly debris. 75 miles from Roswell, tucked behind dirt hills and desert branches, the Erie Corona site is finally open for the public to see. It did, really did happen, and I had to see it for myself. Ryland Bernard came all the way from Toronto to get a look at the 1947 UFO crash site. It's almost spiritual. There's a lot of research to be done. There's not just Roswell, there's lots of UFO events. There's, you know, lots of witnesses that you can make your own decision on. This is just one event, but... This is the start of it all, apparently. Cameron Pashaw came to the land of enchantment from Los Angeles to connect himself with a part of history. You can see where this craft landed and where these the alien bodies were. It, it takes you away from reality, your day-to-day -day life, and makes you experience something magical. And you can actually touch it. it. It's really special. The object that was found in this eerie area was first identified as a flying saucer by officials. However, they later retracted that statement and went on to call it a weather balloon. There are many theories on what happened on that July morning in 1947, but seeing this wreckage site was an unforgettable moment for visitors. You're getting this chance to enter into virgin territory that, uh, that others have only read about and actually see it with your own eyes and know that you're not just sneaking into the land. The, the family itself has opened it up to you and it's really special. An out of this world experience that only took seven decades for these believers to enjoy. Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News.